What's up, my grub lovers? Who ready to get their grub on? You know that I am. It's your boy, Mr. Grub, back again with another video for you guys. And today, I went to a new Jamaican spot uh, in the Fort Pierce area called Moya Restaurant. Um, I haven't been there before. Um, I've heard some good things, some bad things. Um, but I'd rather, you know, try them out for myself, man. You know, put them to the test. So I decided to try something different along with trying a new Jamaican restaurant. I said, well, let me try something I wouldn't normally try. Uh, you know, I normally, you guys know, I normally get the oxtail because uh, that's my thing. But then sometimes I try the curry. I haven't tried that in a while either. But I've never tried the brown stew chicken. So I decided to get that and, uh, you know, try it out and, you know, see what it's all about, man. And, you know, see which way the ladder turns was going to be on the left or the right. So gonna check that out man I'll let you guys see this so I got a I got a large and a large consists of um, the brown stew chicken uh, rice and beans and cabbage then they give you a uh, little cornbread on the side so I'm gonna go ahead and try that out. Um, the reason I chose the large is because if I do happen to like it, um, I have enough to last me. The good part about it too is that the large isn't even expensive. Like the, the large for the uh, brown stew was $8.99. So that's not even expensive compared to some places where you're paying you know, close to $15 depending on you know the meal. So I'm hoping that um, you know it's worth the money and you know that it's actually cheaper by design you know versus just being cheaper because of the quality so we're gonna put them to the test man check them out and i'll let you guys see this So it looks good. I actually got a lot, a lot of food here. Um, so I'm gonna definitely try it out. They usually give you the fork wrapped up. I always give me a spoon to eat with mine because, you know, sometimes I can't get enough with my fork and it kind of makes me mad when I'm eating. So I'm gonna start with the fork because I do have a lot of cabbage over here. Um, you know, so I'm gonna try it out with the cabbage. Let you guys know how it is, man. And I like too that they don't just put the cabbage in here, they actually give you mixed vegetables. You have corn and um, string bees and, and sweet peas. So they mix it up so that you have, you know, a mixture of vegetables. And I mean, some people may or may not like that. I mean, I like it. I'm good with that. Shout out to Moya Restaurant for that. I'm gonna try this meat, you know, to let you guys know how it is. Like I said, it's the first time I ever had brown stew. So, I'm gonna try it out. And uh, hopefully, it won't be my last time, you know, depending on how it tastes. So. That's really good. I don't know what, 
what kind of seasoning they use. It's like it, you can you got the chicken, so you taste the chicken, but it's kind of almost like you can like like it's almost like oxtail and chicken at the same time. So it's like a mixture. And y'all know I like my chicken, so and I love my oxtail. So to have them kind of combined together, that's kind of the taste that I'm getting, which makes this uh, twice as worth it. Shout out to Moya Restaurant. If you've ever been to Fort Pierce, man, definitely check them out. You can try the brown stew. Tell them Mr. Grubb sent you. You know, the rice cooked through. Sometimes you go to places and uh, the rice can be mushy. And I, so I, I do worry a lot sometimes dealing with rice. You know, everybody's rice isn't the same food in general isn't the same everywhere you go so to have multiple options when you want to enjoy your food you know that's the plus side of doing what I'm doing you know because I find other options not just for myself but for you guys too so shout out to Moya's restaurant for being another option for me man I'm I'm loving this chicken and then you'll think too like at a certain time of the day, um, now you go to some places like some restaurants, certain time of the day, they, they don't have oxtail left or curry chicken or whatever, you know, but they had everything available, man, so that's always a plus too when you're looking for a good Jamaican restaurant is knowing that, um, you know, whatever's on the menu is actually available, you know, because a lot of times, like I said, especially when it comes to like oxtail and stuff, that's not always available all day, so, and they have it available all day, so shout out to them for that. take long, you know what I mean, so I always appreciate that, you know, not having to wait too, too long, especially when you're hungry, so you know, being able to to get people in and out and make sure the food is cooked through thoroughly, but still get them out in a timely manner, that's always a plus for me, you know, definitely on the service side so if you guys ever in the Fort Pierce area, man, definitely check them out I drop the uh, the address down below for you guys, so you can always um, come back to this video for the address if you can't find it. Check it out. But make sure you do, and make sure you tell them Mr. Grubb sent you, man. More your restaurant, you get a ten from me. This chicken is crazy. next time so stay up on the content don't forget to like and subscribe it's your boy mr grub i'm out